Hello there, everybody. This has been Stripe Paragon, and welcome back to some more Lost Dimensions. So, let's talk to some of the people in the lobby. Uh, we can actually talk to everybody. Oh, God. So, let's see. So, all of these allow us to become closer to the people. So, that's, that's a thing. Uh, let's talk to her. What? Yeah, what, what's your ability, bruh? Oh, swag, yo, Pyro. Did, did you get into trouble a lot? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Sounds good. So we can talk to everybody. Okay. Right, at least I assume I can. That's nice, because... I'm just glad it's not one of those where it's like, Oh, you can talk to, like, five... Oh. I could see that being useful. Well. So you're like Magneto. Hmm. I mean... That's certainly the first time I've seen that in an RPG that's not X-Men related. I don't know. Alright. Oh, wait. What? Say what? Don't tell me. Um, hold on. I think what it said earlier was that, like, if I were to talk to them now, like, it would just be a normal conversation. But at the same time, I kind of want to talk to them. Because I feel like if I don't, I'll lose this dialogue forever. Yeah, what's up, mana? You're a legend. Mm -hmm. Overdrive. I mean, that's perfectly fine. In Final Fantasy X, everybody had overdrives. So I guess you can't necessarily talk to everybody and get their camaraderie up. <laughs> Why does this girl remind me so much of Zero Suit Samus? Even more! Levitation! I mean... Eh. Zero Suit couldn't really do that in Smash. I don't know about, like, the Metroid games. I honestly haven't played that many. I did play a bit of Metroid Prime. But, like, as a kid, I would continuously get stuck because I was never good at it. Uh, but a few years back, I did get a little bit farther... Still wasn't good, though. Even my dad, like... It was sort of more his game, I guess. He still couldn't get that far into it. Maybe we were just bad gamers at the time. Alright. Let's see. Let's talk to George. He's... He's American. He's American. Or maybe not. Damn. Yes. Did he just say damn for him saying Konichiwa? Okay. <laughs> Schwing? Was that a freaking reference to Wayne's World? That guy is so American. Just saying. Agito Yuki. Hey! No. Hey! Well, he's here, so he's most likely a member of Sealed. Teleportation. Uh, something tells me he's gonna not be that useful. Okay, so we got three more we can talk to. Yoko. What's her last yes. name? Tachibana? Yeah, it's nice to meet you, Miss Egg Lady. She's got an egg in her head. What the heck? <laughs> yes. All right. Why not? Uh 
Okay. So we got, like, one more, two more? I know I still gotta talk to Marco. This dude, he's like a, a Marco. Yeah. Psychokinesis. Why does it... That, that's so familiar, but I don't remember what it's from. Psychokinesis. I... Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's a member of Psycho Stick. Zenji... Blah. Maeda, that's his name. Oh. So... So it's like a we're twinning essentially, because <laughs> I'm you know sometimes twins they know what's up with each other. I wouldn't know. I'm an only child. So it looks like that's the only people we can talk when to at this he point. Launched those missiles in 13 days. I wonder if he was lying. Okay, so I guess I had to talk to everybody. That worked out. This is a man who's destroyed half the planet. Let's not discount his threat so quick. In fact, it's probably safest we assume he's telling the truth about this. Probably. What worries me more is what he said about a traitor. Do you really think there's one among us? <laughs> you say that as if you couldn't possibly be the traitor. Are you trying to claim that you're not the traitor then? Oh no. Here we go. Here we go, the mystery! That was not my intent. This is a circular discussion. Obviously, the traitor would not reveal his or her identity. The rational course is simple. Trust no one. So true. There's an enemy among us. The wolf among us. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Whoever's the traitor, come clean. Please stop it. How can we suspect our own teammates? I don't so. Oh what crap! Like. I thought she was Are done. Fine with the doing <laughs> My bad. My bad. Killing us all. That's not what I. I, I just. Enough. There's no need to phrase it that way. In any case, we have no way of determining that there's a traitor with certainty. True. true. It could be a ruse he's using just to get under our skin. He's done a good job of getting to us so far. Regardless, we aren't making any progress by discussing this. No, we're not. Let's freaking go. Right. All we can do is move forward. So the best countermeasure for now is to keep an eye on one another, huh? Yeah. Even though we're teammates, I'm against the whole notion. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care if you're all a bunch of traitors. I'm killing the end and saving the world. Is his hair like a sword or something? Because, like, he's got, like, two things that look like they're stuck in a straw wrapper or something. It'd be real funny if you were the traitor after saying all that. What the hell did you say? Can we stop this useless prattle? You're starting to give me a headache. Same. Me too. Show's right. All we can do now is move forward. Does it matter if there's a traitor in our ranks? We're just a hastily made team anyway. I'd hardly consider any of you an ally. We're simply a gathering of people with similar goals. Nothing more. Isn't that a little bleak? Yeah. But we're obviously the good guy. Let's head out. We have a purpose to fulfill. We have to keep going. Yeah. I mean, if there is a traitor, we'll figure it out eventually. But not right now. Okay, so I can't talk to anybody else, which is a bit unfortunate. I'd like to sort of learn about everybody a little bit. Okay, so we can set up, change our equipment, and learn gifts. Am I even able to learn gifts at this point? I would hope I could teach some to show, because he doesn't have any right now. Okay. I cannot. I don't have any gift EXP. Nobody does, but... Okay, this is something I'm a fan of. We've got, like, sort of a tree you can go on like you don't have to necessarily learn crusader but at least not with this path but i'm not even sure how i'm going to do this right now and we have materia huh great it's final fantasy 7 in disguise all right and equipment 
Do I even have any different equipment? I highly doubt. Oh, hey, I do. Um, what will this do? Okay, so I guess it's all the same. Oh, these... I know why. It's because these are the DLC costumes that I got. Because if you are playing, you know... Uh, hell, you could even download it right now if you don't even have the game. And I guess I didn't download his? Uh, I don't know. But, um, essentially... They have different costumes. Yeah, because that is just the costume. That that won't affect their stats more than likely. If this is like any other JRPG. Um, so yeah, we really don't have much. Oh well. Now, items. What sort of items do we have? Uh, let's see. Mysterious Katana. Huh. This is for... Okay, so he's got it equipped, so there's really nothing I can do. Now, I have taken a look at the trophy list, and I am a bit concerned that I won't be able to get the platinum on one playthrough, because I can see myself getting the platinum for this game, just because I like it so much. Okay, so this is a side quest. So, this one isn't necessarily required, but these are DLC, which, more than likely, I, I can't even do at this point. So, I'm just going to wait until later to do those. Now, this is the one we need to do, but, uh, hmm. See, I, I don't want to wait to do the sub-quest, because I don't want to be overpowered, but... Uh, let's go with suspicions. If I need to level up, I'll go to the subquest. Simple as that. Okay, so we can only equip, I mean, deploy uh, six party members, so. And yeah, that's a thing. How do I. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. I definitely want Himenu in. She impressed me. Uh, how about Nagi? Um, bring in Yoko. I want to see what George can do. Um, and Marco, because we haven't we haven't seen a lot of these characters yet. We're all about the same level, so it, it can't be that bad, right? Um, okay. Hold on. I want to make sure I have all the details. Okay, so we'll get a decent chunk of EXP just by doing this, so I like that. Let's go! We'll see how this goes. Gotta climb to the top floor, huh? Looks like it. more to go on. I mean, anyone know the way to go to reach the top? Our only option is to search the area. It could be a trap, but we don't have much of a choice. Now, going off of what the end said to us, we are the only ones who entered the pillar. Wait a minute. If I recall correctly, we had far more members with us. Just where in the world are they? They must not have made it inside. Either that or they all died, but I doubt it. What gives? Why are we the only ones that got in? Maybe it's the one thing we have in common. The, our gifts. That thought sounds reasonable enough. Yeah. They never specified how many. But I heard them say when they put sealed together, there were others out there with abilities like I had. Oh, really? It's regrettable that we were put in this situation before we had a proper grasp of our members. You mean the traitor, huh? If you ask me, I say screw them. If they try anything stupid, it'll blow their cover. Oh, nice one. Quite a clever way to guide suspicion away, Mr. Mafia Man. <laughs> Would you say, you little brat? Hold it. She reminds me a lot of Catherine, actually. She's kind of got the same hairdo, just in a different color. If we lose our heads here, it's going to be even harder to figure out a means to find the enemy. Keep that in mind during the fight. Let's go. All right. Let's go. All right, what do we got Let's here? Got three enemies right in front of us. Can I attack any of them? 
Doesn't look like I can. What about with my... I do not have a gift. Well, why am I here? Okay, so... Apparently, if you go uh, to the end of your radius, unfortunately... Um... Let's go. Can't do anything. That's too bad. Ooh. I can check. And it's an unknown organism. Okay. What do they do? Uh, hell, I don't know. So I get a little bit more space to do things, but I can't get anything. And I got a trophy! Awesome! Alright. Oh, wow, she floats. She's so floaty. Uh, let's see. She doesn't have a gift either? I guess I just haven't seen it yet. Sweep. Or just attack. I cannot do anything, actually. I'm going to move back a little bit. Just because I feel like that's the safer thing to do. It's just to sort of move up slowly, but not all at once. Unfortunately, the one... Why the hell? Is that really his costume? Oh my god, he's a... That's his costume. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so dumb. He looks like... Looks like he's trying to be Teddy. But... Alright, yeah, just let the enemies come to me. Sounds like a plan. Oh no! Okay, that's not that much. Hell, I did more damage than he dealt, so... Don't have too much to worry about. And this actually sets us up perfectly for the attack with Nagi. Because she's got that weird ranged attack, almost. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right, I don't have a gift yet. Um, I'll take out the one with the more HP. And he can't even do anything. And I got a critical hit. Let's go. Dude, swag. Okay. Actually, no. I want to get to the side a little bit. Just so I can do a little bit more damage. Burn, burn baby, burn. Yeah. Oh, sweet. A support attack, too. So I'm not necessarily going to need Nagi for that part. But I'm still going to have her attack this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he missed. And he missed, too. Okay. That works. Bam. We did it. Woohoo. So there's only three more enemies left. So, so far, so good. I mean, Marco and George haven't done that much. At this point, I expect George to be more of a George Costanza-like character. Damn. Nagi's impressed me so far. I mean, she floats. She's got very floaty controls. No. no. Um, but, like, just the fact that she's not that bad. I wasn't sure what to expect. Granted, I'm sure a bunch of these characters are about the same at this point. Uh, here we go. All right. That's more like it. I'll turn you to ash. Okay. Who can I burn? It's probably going to be more important to burn the Gravis. He's got a little bit more HP. Then with Nagi, I can just use her ranged attack to do damage to both of them. Yeah, because they're like right by each other. No, not gift. Sweep. Yeah. And they won't counter because, well, I attacked both of them now. Will this gift... Okay, so this just strengthens her or an ally, so let's take out the Gravis, because I know I can. And, uh, alright. Let's see what George can do. Oh my god, he does look like, he looks like a freaking Shinobi George Costanza. Oh my god, why does he have arrows going through him? What is this? He's not Cupid. Well, that was easy. Oh, wow, that was really fast. Damn. I hope so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it should be an issue. I mean, you know, we fought that battle pretty well. However. 
Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Man. Maybe that's why that one dude's got his head covered. It's because he's bald. I don't know. He looks like he could be a George Costanza character. Oh, God. Damn it. What, what was that? What? Seriously? Was that George? So, I take it George is the traitor? I don't know, and I got a rank A. No rank S. Okay, so, so this is what it looks like. So, it shows your kills, assists, all that. Um, wow, did he really get three kills? Was it really just these two? But didn't George... Oh! I think this is cumulative points, because there weren't even six enemies in the battle. Okay. This gets no end. Everybody gets experience. Okay, so as expected, uh, the characters in battle do get way more experience. But, hey, all my support characters gotta level up too, so that's nice, but, uh... I'm sure it's not going to stay like that. What do you hear? We are mirrors of a perfect soldier. This is awful. Oh, no. It's too early for this. No, this is this is what you hear when you're about to die. Just look at Persona. Oh really? What what kind of machine is it? What is it? <laughs> I just asked that, Nagi, calm down. Doesn't somebody here have the power of electromagnetic ah. electricity or something? You know, I can honestly see George being the traitor. Just because of the way he acted in the beginning of when I was talking to everybody. He just seemed like what? he was trying to like get on the good side a little yeah. bit. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but only time will tell. I wonder if this game will offer New Game Plus, but like, in a decent way. Um, a perfect example would be the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. Because in that game, there was a choice you had to make, like at the very end of the game, for the final chapter. And um, whenever you set up a New Game Plus file, it would have the option to where you could just start with... Like, right before you're making that decision. Which is something I really loved about that game. Okay, so... We can create... Items using this thing. Whatever that means. And we got EN ships from that battle? Say what? I guess that's like our money. So... We could get some new weapons and whatnot. And I'll probably end up doing that in the next episode. Um, let's see here. Who can I talk to? Can I talk to everybody? Okay, only some characters, so we can, you know, get closer to a few of them. But again, I think I'll save that for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later days.